Hey you guys, so today I'm doing this smoky cat eye makeup look. I posted this picture on Instagram a long time ago and I never did a makeup tutorial for it. So that's what I'm doing today. I find smoky cat eyes to be a little bit complicated. I don't know why. I just don't do them too often. So then when I do them, I it's hard for me. I hope that I can break it down well enough and explain it well enough. I hope my technique and my tips and tricks are helpful. And without any further ado, let's go. Hey friends. So today I'm going to be doing this look that I posted quite a while back on my Instagram. It's like one of my favorite pictures <laughs> of myself because of the Snapchat filter that I had on my face that Snapchat took. But I'm going to try to recreate this today. I don't exactly remember all of the products that I used. I know for sure I used the Sweet Peach palette. So I'm going to use that today, but I might incorporate some other shadows and other things. I'm going to start by taking this fluffy brush. It's the 232 from Smith. And I'm going to take Georgia from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's kind of like a neutral mauve shade. And I'm gonna start with putting this in the crease. Just a more soft shade. So I'm gonna start flicking this outwards. I'm going on this angle right there. I'm gonna take Frappe from Makeup Geek. This shade up here. Kind of like a reddish warmish brownish. Bring that up in here and out here. Now, I think the key with doing any sort of winged look on the outer corner, I think the key is really to use smaller brushes than you think and to not put any pressure on the outer tip of it because if you do that, that'll be like really harsh over there. You'll see what I mean when I get into it. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is a Crown C515. I'm gonna take Puree, which is this shade, and I'm gonna start by mapping out this outer shape here. So I know I want it in the crease and over here and then I'm gonna kind of flick it outwards instead of putting the tip over here and then bringing it in you want it to kind of fade and disappear into that cat eye shape so most of your pressure should be on the inside of that shape and then flick 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 of the wrist I'd say it's going pretty well I'm just gonna take a clean ish brush and buff out this edge a little bit. So now I'm gonna do the same exact thing and I'm gonna take Peach Pit. I know it has like some shimmer in it, but I don't think it was that obvious. It's kind of like a purpley shade. I might mix in this uh, color here, which is called Charmed, I'm sure. So same dealio and start blending out the edges. I'm gonna switch into my Life Palette or whatever you wanna call this. I'm gonna take this shade here. It looks very similar to Americano, which is this one here. This one that I'm gonna take is called Beauty Mark from Anastasia. I'm gonna put that really deep in here. And then I'm just repeating the same process as before. Really repetitive, but you wanna take your time so that you don't kind of like overdo it and then this gets really too thick out here. You want this to stay pretty sharp. All right, I believe I had some shimmer on the lid, but it wasn't too intense. It wasn't anything crazy, like a foiled shadow or anything. So I'm gonna take just like these three shades. We've got Caramelized and then Cobbler and Luscious. Start with Caramelized and put that over here towards the middle, kind of transitioning those deeper outer corner shades into the lightness that I'm gonna be putting on the inner part. And then I'm gonna pick up that cobbler shade, and put that next, kind of overlapping it with the previous shade so that it fades really nice. And then I'm gonna pick up the luscious and put that on the inner part. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone by mixing white peach with nectar. Nectar is more of a yellow based shimmery shade where white peach is a white matte shade. So when I mix them together, it's like the perfect highlight for myself. And I'm just popping this raw up here. Now for this look, I didn't do eyeliner because I wanted to show you that you could do a winged, smoky sort of cat eye look without eyeliner. So I went ahead and applied mascara and then I'm using these lashes from Velour. They're called Skin to Skin. They have a clear lash band, so I used some of the Duo Lash Glue in white and it's supposed to dry clear. It doesn't really dry clear, but I didn't want to do a black toned or a dark toned lash glue because if I mess up when I put on the lash, then it doesn't like go 
everywhere. It's not like I can touch it up with liner since I'm not wearing liner today. Oh, they're a bit young. Cut them a little short. This is a little messy here on the outer corner, kind of like under this wing situation. I'm not going to clean that up with like a makeup remover or anything just because I'm going to use my concealer and the concealer is very majestic. But for my face, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Light if it would focus. Thank you. Use about this much for my whole face. This is good for oilier skin types or combination skin types helps foundation to last. I'm gonna take the Power Fabric Foundation from Giorgio Armani in shade five and blend it in with my beauty blender. I got a comment this morning saying that my skin is so dry and disgusting that it looks like a smoker skin and that's why I must have became a makeup artist because I need a lot of work done to my face. <laughs> so fun fact, I've actually never had a cigarette and if my skin looks like that, well, Dag nabbit, why didn't I smoke? I'm just messing around. That was like the funniest comment to wake up to. <laughs> Cover up my under eye dark circles and kind of clean up that outer edge or whatever. I'm gonna use the Tarte, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light and I'm gonna bring it here and here. And then over here. Shoop. Very lightly, I'm going to dot it in the center of the nose because this actually helps to give me a little bit of a natural contour when I go in and blend it out. So I'm just using the tip of my beauty blender to blend in the concealer. And then as you can see, it's like distributing so much product because this concealer is super freaking pigmented and very, very full coverage. A little bit goes such a long way and it's very, very matte. Um, I'm going to bring the excess, excess product up onto the side of my nose to help with that contour action that I was talking about. And then I'm going to take like the lengthy side of this sponge and I'm just going to go up and down like this. I'm not moving my sponge around, it's just going up and down to push the product in. I'm not blending it out, I'm just pushing the concealer in on my nose. I'm gonna bronze up my skin with Give Me Sun from MAC and this Smith 112 brush. Today I used a lot of like smaller brushes than usual, but I'm liking the outcome a little bit more. It seems like things are a little bit more precise to where I want them. It's not too messy. I don't have to clean things up as much, except for that outer corner, obviously, but I'm liking it. And then I'm gonna try using that same brush to contour. I'm using Infidelity from Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna put this right on the tip of this and put it right in the hollows of the cheekbones. Jawline. I'm gonna pick up just a touch of some Laura Mercier powder. Put it right up in here. Darker back here and right here so that it looks very like, you know? So while it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. Nose contour is kind of strong, but I like it. I really like a snatched nose contour. I'm not the best at it, especially because this light gives a shadow so then it looks like it's like, empty in one spot, but it's not. It's, I think it's even, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and dust away what's here, over here, you know, and just do, 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 do a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. I'm gonna go ahead and use Margin Blush from MAC. It's one of my, actually it could be my favorite blush ever. It's very shimmery though. I haven't used a shimmery blush in a while. I've been really into matte blushes, but let's do it. I'm kind of like, Feeling it. I'm just going to put it on the cheek. Beautiful. Okay, I know that this is an acquired taste. I've gotten some people that say they really don't like this highlighted look on me, but I like it. Um, I'm gonna take Heat Wave from Estee Lauder and this tapered highlighter brush. It's an F35. Hit it right here. Get that Cupid's bow and the nose. And I've really been loving these together. I'm gonna use the Starlet Powder, number 13 from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna take that Beauty Mark shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and a flat definer brush from Sigma. And I'm gonna connect it to that outer wing there and carry it in right on the lash line. Kind of gonna bring it under here, kind of just like straight. I'm gonna bring it kind of like parallel with the natural line of 
my eye. I'm gonna pick up Peaches and Cream, the shade here, and kind of feather that underneath to help fade everything. I'm starting in the inner corner, actually, because that's where like there's less. I don't want that to get too smoked out up here. All right, I wanna brighten up that inner corner and like where that little section is that we paralleled with the darker shade. And I'm gonna pick up Nectar, put that in here. Maybe a little bit of white peach too. I'm gonna use this Ardency In Eyeliner in the color Coffee. I'm gonna try to line it on camera and kind of push it into the lashes. This is the Tarte Tartist Mascara. I'm sure it's in black. Um, I've heard this is a really good mascara, so I thought I'd try it out. It's a completely different brush than I'm used to. All I use is the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the L'Oreal Voluminous, so I'm gonna try this out today. I'm gonna grab my NYX Eyebrow Marker in Medium and fill in my freckle, cause I can. I hate when I get foundation on my lips and it's like disgusting. I need to sharpen this because I use the crap out of this pencil. It is so pretty. It is the Nude Pink Lip Liner from NYX. It looks like this and it is a nude pink. I remember I mixed these two lip glosses together. We have, uh, they're both from Too Faced. They're the Sweet Peach Lip Oil Glosses. I have Peachsicle and then Papa Don't Peach. So I'm gonna take the Peachsicle and put that right on the center. And then I took the Papa Don't Peach and put it right on the outer parts. I think that's the finished look, except man, this highlight is like <laughs> All right, so I just went ahead and did my hair, took it out of my clip, um, and this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the whole tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know them down below in the comment section of the video. And I think that's it. I don't really have much to say, so thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.